I was born in San Francisco. Where were you born? Michigan. That explains a lot, huh? Both, <laughs> both a hotbed of Southern style barbecue. <laughs> right. right. I started working for John's when I first met him in 1977. I was in high school. Started bussing tables and then cooking and the rest is history. So we went to Texas and did a road trip and literally ate at 15, 20 places a day for a week and made ourselves totally sick. Back in the early days it was call the bank. We got money in there today? Yeah. And <laughs> And that was kind of it, or, you know, so I thought he was crazy a few times. <laughs> <laughs> I can remember building one of the restaurants, and uh, the contractor pretty much scoundered with the funds and took off. I mean, you don't have any disagreement? If we didn't disagree once in a while, well, one of us would be a waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> that Willie's Jeep, oh. he, he came driving up. Well, it was a 1951 Willie's panel truck. It was an old-fashioned style delivery truck and I had envisioned putting our logo all over it. It was pretty dilapidated. <laughs> oh, it was? It was in good shape. Well, in, in his vision, it was. <laughs> <laughs> it was bright red, had chrome wheels. <laughs> wow, it was leaking we could gas. paint the logo on <laughs> Leaking gas? Oh. So that's when I asked him, do you have a backup plan? <laughs> Tell me the story of the name. I think it's called the Fort Worth Gazette, and the headline that day was Willie Takes All and a, an armadillo named Willie won the race for the state championship. So he was the state champion in 1982. It just it became obvious it had to be Armadillo Willie's barbecue. So. Do you have certain farms you get your pigs and cows from? We buy ribs only from Curly's Ribs in Sioux City, Iowa, and it's you know, the, best, the best ribs you can get. Briskets are Angus briskets. They're you know 10 to 13 pounds or a huge piece of meat that takes a long time to cook. But, they really are better than a filet mignon when they're done right. What about the chickens? Yeah. They're fresh from California. So. Yeah, better. I was going to say it came from an egg. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure. But. Well, cooking barbecue is super simple. What we do is we, we're cooking over wood. We're not using the heat of uh, you know, electricity or gas to, to cook our meat. Heat and the smoke of wood burning logs, it makes a difference. It, and it cooks you know, real, real low and it'll turn a, you know, a, a, a tough cut of meat like a brisket into a piece of meat after 15, 18 hours that's as tender as a filet but has even more flavor. The ribs are just seasoned with a dry rub and they're put in the smoker and cooked for four to six hours and they come out and they're great. But we figure it takes about a year of a, one of our cooks that's dedicated and wants to learn to be a pit master. It's a badge of honor for them to be able to wear the white hat. So the pit masters have to look at the barbecue and they have to feel the barbecue. They pick it up and see how the ribs bend or if they don't bend and they're getting an idea if that meat's ready. We don't cook by time at all. You're tasting the meat and the smoke as opposed to the barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce should be a condiment to barbecue, not the whole thing. I'm surprised you weren't a chef, you know? Yeah, if I could cook, I would have been. Oh, no. geez. <laughs> That's one thing John is very uh, keen on, constantly trying to improve, and, and he loves playing around in the kitchen, and uh, sometimes I'm telling him, stop, no more, no more good ideas. <laughs> Our barbecue sauce won first place in 1989 at the first Best of the West Rib Cook-Off in Reno, which has become the largest rib cook-off, and certainly in the West, but maybe in the world. It is by invitation only, and so we we're very pleased to be invited back. Tell me about the barbecue running out. We have to run out. I mean, it's, it, barbecue takes hours and hours and hours. I mean, anywhere from four to, to 18 hours to cook our barbecue. So we're, we're guessing and we're saying, well, we're gonna do you know 75 slabs of ribs for, for dinner tonight. And 30 people, and all of a sudden, they all order ribs, well, you're gonna run out. Beware of your barbecue place that doesn't run out. You know. <laughs> you know kids love coming here, you know older people that have maybe been coming for quite a while and then everything in between. I love the brisket. The brisket is awesome here. I usually have that, but for today, some reason I had a taste for a burger. We have pride in our food and, and pride in what we do. And, and uh, we've got some really, really loyal long-term customers that we have customers that come in every day of the week. I do. I come here about once a week for lunch usually. Yeah. Most time in school. The staff is great. Very friendly and very helpful. I like it. 
I think it's just see the crowds. You walk into one of your restaurants and the dining room is full and people are laughing and having a good time and bringing their friends, bringing their family. Uh, to me, that's, that's what that sort of tells you it's been a good day. You're doing it right. We love Willie's. My wife's tried to retrain me at home. I can't eat with my hands at home. <laughs> It's, it's part of the job. You cut up your ribs with a knife and fork? Is that? <laughs> I don't know.